Give me a word or phrase to describe Ted Cruz. Divisive. Constitutional. Arrogant. Committed. Douchebag. Principled. Unproductive. Unlikable. Steadfast. Smarmy. Competent. Hypocrite. Slimy. Christian. <laughs> okay, so I need a word or phrase to describe Beto O'Rourke. Abortion. Likeable. Smarmy. Bad on immigration. Definitely not smarmy. Liar. I'd say call to action. Socialist. Compassionate. Fraud. Hope. Left. Different. Anti-Second Amendment. Equality. What is it about Ted Cruz you don't like? I think Ted Cruz has sold his soul. If someone talked about my husband the way that Trump talked about his wife, to me, that is way more important than politics. It's way more important than anything else. Because they're one so, of the, the, they're on the same team now. There's cohesiveness within the party. No, now. he wants to be reelected. There is no cohesiveness. Well, there's truth here. to that as well. But that's the he impetus the for presidents being presidents and advocating Senator for people. Ever. Do you like Ted Cruz? I actually do. I I supported him in the in the primaries over Trump. I have fundamental issues with Cruz because we're creating trillion dollar, over trillion dollar deficits, but now it's okay. Beto O'Rourke and Ted Cruz, they may raise more money than any campaign in the history of America. Why is this so important? Why is so much money flowing into this state? I think the Democrats are trying to prove to the country that they can turn a bright red state blue. All that Ted Cruz has done is tried to repeat peel health care 40 something times and failed each time and by the way president. and then he, he and ran for president and then and then he missed half of the votes while he's been there and what has he done what major piece of legislation has he ever done I so I'm a Beto voter I will be and the reason for that is is because of the polarization right now I don't agree with all of his policies absolutely don't but I don't I I disagree with all of Cruz's policies. I disagree with the wall, I disagree with all of that. And I guarantee you, as a mother of two boys, that I would do everything illegal, legal, it doesn't matter what it is, to get my children into this country. Is there a problem with that? Yes. 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 You would let somebody rape your child. Sovereign countries that have laws. Obey those laws. You go to other countries, you can't just walk in and do anything you want in their country. What is the immigration problem? We got about 12 million undocumented illegal aliens in this country. Do you see a problem with using the words illegal aliens? No. You're no. calling it what it is. It's Isn't illegal. that the term that we're supposed to use? That, that was acceptable. Undocumented workers is not a real term. Illegal alien is what's in the government regulations. That's the term they used to describe them. Why do we demonize the people that get lured here by business owners that have jobs waiting for them? Why don't we do mandatory prison time for anybody that hires an illegal alien. Fine. Mandatory fine. federal We're okay time. With that. Or at least do fine. Good. Stop, Stop luring them here and then you demonize fine. the people. Yeah, this, this is, about is America. Fear. You come in but here, you come in here legally. My parents and my grandparents were immigrants. They worked hard. They adopted and they came into this country legally. Voting based on emotion, you got to base it on facts. What are the facts? America is like a lifeboat. And at a certain point, if you bring everybody into the lifeboat, the lifeboat sinks. We have American children that are starving. Yeah. How many kids do you know that go to school every day and then they also bring a backpack home on the weekend where the churches have provided food for are American children. By a show of hands, who wants to build a wall? Raise your hands. Who is opposed to a wall? Raise your hands. Just like America, split 50-50. Why not a wall? All of the people who voted to build the wall and the people who want illegal immigrants deported are the same people who want lower taxes, but tax money is exactly where that budget to build the wall is gonna come from. Here's how you pay for the wall. 12 million illegal immigrants. You put them on a modified path to citizenship, a new visa. And every year, you have to pay $1,000 to maintain that visa, okay? If you have 12 million people paying $1,000 for the next, 20, next 10 years, that's $120 billion that you just generated. What's wrong with that? Well, because they're making eight, $10 an hour and they're barely feeding their children. Undocumented worker, 
should pay $1,000 a year because they are here. I don't know about 1000 but a path is a path. I, I agree that there should be some sort of path. There's no way you're going to get rid of 12 million people that are sitting here contributing to our society, helping us grow, making us more diverse, all things that we want. Should there be a path to citizenship? I'm Hispanic and I don't think so. so and I'll tell you why, because there should be a consequence to them entering illegal. True. True. So there should not be a path to citizenship. Absolutely. Maybe consider uh, giving them status to stay here legally, but not impact the platform for either Democrat or Republican. You are taking a position that is different from a majority of your community. Back in the day, even if you weren't, maybe in the 70s, 80s, if you were illegal and you got deported, you grabbed your family and went home. I love my family. I still have family in Mexico. So, and I've seen it growing up here in Texas. Were you born here? My friends, I was born here in Dallas. What about your parents? My parents were born in Mexico. Do they come here legally? Uh, actually, that's a good question. I haven't asked them. Uh, you had $10,000 on the line. Did both your parents come here legally? Thinking about it, probably not. And I would still stick to my views because I was born in this great country that believes in the rule of law. And they come from a country that even though they have laws on the book, which is Mexico, they almost are not followed through. Who's gonna win this race? Ted Cruz. Who thinks Ted Cruz, raise your hands. And he th who thinks Beto O'Rourke? So where are my Beto voters who think that Cruz is gonna win? Explain why. That's a red state, we're conservative. Beto is the, the challenge. And unfortunately, Texas is a, you know, doesn't really do a lot of change. And just like me, you know, before the Kavanaugh thing, I probably wasn't going to vote, but this Kavanaugh thing is going to turn out a lot of people. What is it about what happened that is now making you a voter? I think he was treated very unfairly. But why would that cause you to vote? Because I think they, done, they did him totally wrong. <laughs>